Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for this look, I first started off by drawing a line where I wanted it to split. And then I did those lines off camera because it would take me forever. So the foundation I was using is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. And I use the Chanel Sand de Toll um, to contour my face, to bronze it up a little bit. If you keep looking at me back, my boyfriend was in the back. He was helping me out with the video. So I want to say a huge thank you to him. So I decided to do the one eye on my on my left side. So I just used white and then I'm gonna fill it in with the black. All the, the stuff I got was from Spirit Halloween. Honestly, the paint was not good at all. I don't know if it was because I already had foundation under it or what. But next year I'm buying stuff from Amazon, not from there, because the white was really hard and the black to blend. This video literally took me like two hours to do because of the whole blending, the black, the white. I just wanted it to be pretty perfect. So I went over it with the cream makeup, it's supposed to be like a no smudge and that was a lie because it did end up smudging. So I use the shade and light palette, I use a black color to um, set the cream. And for this tutorial, I used brushes that I did not care about just in case they did end up getting messed up. Got to go up because going back and forth with the Q-tip because either the white and the black would transfer or the white was like not sticking or anything like that. So here you can see I'm using the oil paint, which I think is way better than the cream makeup. And I'm just applying this all over the left side of my face. This part here took me forever because the white was not it was spreading, it wasn't sticking. As you can see, I'm, like, I'm using more than one brush. I'm using a sponge, a Q-tip. I keep going back and forth because the white was not sticking. If you guys want any like um like Halloween makeup stuff, like brands and stuff, put it listed down below so I can purchase that and check it out for my next year's Halloween tutorials. So here I just decided to do it with the beauty blender. It's like the small one that you use for your under eyes. And this actually ended up working very well. So I was like, okay, see, so this is sticking and it's not moving. So as you can see, like I had a line going across my contour. That's because I'm going to shade that in black. So here I was doing my nose. I was looking at a picture reference, that's why you kind of see me looking to the side. Um, but I just used the black and I filled it in and I also used the shadow to set everything as well. And this was so itchy, like my nose was itching so bad.
So I use a BH. This is like super old. Um, BH eyeshadow palette. And I just picked up the white to set the cream. And it was still not setting. Like I don't know why. It was still shiny. But at, towards the end, it ended up working out well. Because I just like... Um, me and my boyfriend, we went over it like multiple times and then I said it started to set so it ended up looking well towards the end anyways. So I'm going back in with the black and I'm going to shade in the line, the outline that I had drawn. And I was going in with the white to outline it on the bottom. As I said, I was going by the picture, so you could do this however you want. So this was supposed to be like part of the teeth that was starting to come into the mouth. So here I'm trying to draw the teeth, the teeth, oh my god, they were so hard. Like I literally had to take it off like three times. I was going in with the gray to try to like hide, like shadow it, and it did not like it. So I redid it like three times. And I was like, okay, so this one is pretty okay. So for the other side, I just started to fill in the black because that side is supposed to be like the melting side. So I just filled it in like super dark towards the beginning, and then I just used my finger to drag it down so it looks like it's fading. I decided to do another one because I was like, it looks a little too plain. And then I decided to fill that in. So then I used a brush with gray eyeshadow and I just used the gray and white eyeshadow to like smoke it out and you know, like make it look like it's, um, like dissolving into my skin. Does that make any sense? Hopefully it does. So I did add some shadow. Like I used like some browns and like a taupey color to make it look more realistic. So now I went in with a an, an thin brush to like hide the black. The, when I, the white I had done before to like outline it. So I went in with the black to make it look more realistic. So I use the Kylie palette. I use the white um, to set my eyes and I'm using the brown. Everything will be listed down below in the description box as well. So I decided to do like a black smoky eye on this side, like more girlyish side.
So I picked the black and I'm just going back and forth with the colors to blend out the black. I also do the same thing with the lower lash line. I smoked it out with the black and the brown color. So I use the Melante lashes as always. I use the, um, the Envious ones. I do have a coupon code which will be listed down below which is AnnabelleRod10. I usually use a dual black um, eyelash glue and I just cut off the little tips that they have in the front because it's like a clear thing so I, my camera ended up dying so I used my phone and here I am just applying or like, retouching everything up mm -hmm. 